Um, this video goes out to George Singer again. Um, did I tell you? i show you, actually. Yeah, show you. I'm, I'm going to show you, George, how I make my video game music, or not mine, really, since it's taken from other games. I know. I need to make my own work. That's the thing I suck at. I don't know how to. No, my, I have thought about I'm, I'm serious about becoming a video game music composer, and the problem is, how do I compose my music? I'm going to show you what program I use. Um, I, I, I told you this by email, I, I believe. It's called Adlib Visual Composer, although I call it ABC for short. Um, yeah. Sorry, my friend's messaging me on AIM. I'm ignore it. Um, anyways, um, I don't know if you've heard of DOSBox to DOS Emulary. I used that at first. Um, so, um, Frank Lepacki, he's another video game music composer. He used this for one of my favorite games, I Have the Beholder 2, for the for DOS, and he said he used the, this composer, and I looked for it and I found it. So, um, if you are interested in this, message me, I'll let you have it. I can give you the program, although you might not be interested. But, okay, I'm going to show you what the program looks like. Um, I'm going to turn my exposure down so you can actually see it. Um, let's turn it down here. It's maybe you can see, maybe you can see it now. No other thing about me. Uh, yes. Hold on, I'll fix the lines. There you go, it's not as bad now. So, anyways, this is the program here. You got lots of instrument selections. That you, whoops, you go here, you press F4. And go, you know, here's all the instruments you got. I'll zoom in here so you can see it. I'll adjust this. There you go, much better. I haven't got the bells to work though. They they don't sound right. They're like a key off or whatever. I'm just going slow so you can actually see all the um, instruments. So those are all the instruments. So there's lots of cool instruments to choose from. I'll just um, I'll show you one of the songs that I've um, done. Uh, um, actually, I'll just do one of your works. This is the game over and ending song from Home Alone. I'm sure you remember this one. <laughs> Um, I treated it like an original NES and I only limited it to three channels as you can see. Um, I, I used more than, um, they, they, NES did have like two sound channels so I used those. Snare drum and a, um, actually I only used a hi-hat, closed hi-hat for that. But um, this is what the program looks like and it's pretty nice. I mean, some of these songs aren't mine. Most of them are, but like there's a few of them that aren't mine, like the jazz and whatever. Um, this one's not mine. It, some of these came with the program and uh, yeah, I just listen to this one. I play the bagpipe. And what I like about this program is that you don't um, need to know how to read music. It, you know, you can just you literally visually compose something. So yeah, it, it's it's a really nice program. You should try it sometime. I mean, I don't know of any other composers out there except Mario Paint composer, and that one kind of sucked. But um, yeah, definitely, you know, check it out if you can. Um, I still have an old 98 computer with a Sound Blaster card. Um, Although some games that crashes or whatever, I think it's too much for a computer, maybe or something. But this is what Adlib Visual Composer looks like. This is what I use to compose all my music on. It's really, it's probably the best music composing program I've used of all time. So, camera.
back up here and I'll make it so you can see my face again I don't want to remain a mystery to you that's better now I'm going to show you my other hardware or whatever or stuff um, I do have Cubase LE I got too frustrated with this program I just said screw it started using a Adlib Visual Composer but if you um, and that's because I when I exported it to a mini file it wouldn't um, use the instruments I wanted it to maybe you could help me with that but um, I think you know more about MIDI and all that than I do I got no idea and th this is what I use, used to record I used this Tascam US122 MIDI interface um, so, oh, it's pretty heavy it's not that heavy I mean I can carry it with one hand easily but it's hard to explain, maybe a few pounds. Then the piano I would record on is, I don't know, I'll go into my room. This is a Kurzweil, um, or Kurzweil, however you say it. Um, it's a Mark 10W Ensemble Grand Piano, and one of the keys is kind of broken here. It, it still works, but it, it's like, it like, it's like too soft or whatever. I see I could press it down right now really easily. But um anyways, yeah, I use that to record. It's got a really awesome sounding drum set. Let me show you. So I love the drum set on there, it sounds realistic. Oh, I'm sorry, it's too much for the speakers. Um, so yeah, that is um, the hardware I use pretty much. I, I don't really got any other recording software in the end. Cubase though was just too frustrating. Hopefully you can help me. I mean, I will, I will like do anything if you can help me with that. But anyways, um, thanks for watching, George Singer. I will see you later, or I'll call you the Fat Man, whatever one you prefer. So, peace out, my man.